What's up guys, so today I'm doing a whole Crep Protect challenge. I got these Stan Smiths at the Park City Outlet. I don't know if you saw that like maybe like 10 or 20 videos ago, but I got these for $15, so the risk is very minimal if I can't fix them, but hopefully I'll be able to. I already sprayed them with spray, but I'll do it again just to show you guys for the demo. But basically these are like almost the same color as Calabasas, so they're gonna show every little thing we get on them and we're gonna put a lot of different stuff on them. First things first, if you have not already, hit the link in the top of the description down below to enter the $1,000 sneaker shopping spree giveaway which ends really, really soon. As soon as we hit 250,000, we're just about at 240,000 right now so hopefully not that long until it ends. Let me show you guys what I have planned for these. All right, you guys, so the whole setup is taking place on the ground because right now my table in this room is totally full because I'm still in the process of boxing up all the orders from shopjustwin.com. By the way, I am doing an exclusive one out of 50 t-shirt drop this Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern time, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> start with just something light. Let's start off with Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. Oh, that has an intoxicatingly bad aroma. I know you guys can't smell it because this is just a YouTube video. Wow. This has to be expired. Next, we're just gonna get a little color in there with the red, what is this, strawberry Hershey syrup? Delightful, delightful. What you'll notice though, is a lot of it just bounces right off the shoe. Like just bounces right off. And then some of it doesn't, which is fine because that's what the Crep Protect Cure is gonna be for hopefully, and if not, then Oh God. Keep adding some more color. Let's get the chocolate syrup in there this time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It smells really, really bad. Where's my bait mask? Next, let's just add some yellow to the equation with some mustard. Oh. oh. You know what that means? The mustard wasn't good anymore. We gotta add the Kikkoman soy sauce. Oh. Soy sauce was not a good combo. This is literally like giving me a headache. It smells so bad. Now let's add some of the Kais beard or blueberry jam. Shout out to everyone who watched Kais Omar be like. Got the blueberry jam on there. Now let's get the fresh basil sauce. Oh, I can't. You guys, time out. Brian, can you go get some, like, can you go get some Lysol? You guys, I wish you guys, actually, I don't wish you guys were here to see this. It's it's horrible. Give me it, give me it. I know how to open it. I got it. Sign these on stop. So, each box of crap pills comes with two. If you open it this much, it's like light smell. Second version, third version, fourth version. Oh. Okay, we're gonna use both right now because on full power, because this is, we gotta top it all off. This is pretty much just for the thumbnail. This won't be hard to clean off, but the Parmesan cheese. Ta-da! So this is what we're gonna try to have to clean. There's just a lot of just crap on there, but I think that crap can handle it. All right, so because we did the spray on it before, you can sometimes use water to just get a lot of it off because that's what the repellent's good for. So we'll start by doing that and then we'll get into the actual deep clean of the shoe. Okay, that actually got a decent amount of it off right away. But now for the rest of it, we're actually gonna clean it. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take the laces out. All right, so I got some water right here. I just used this for it. I don't recommend doing that because like you can use this pouch for a lot of stuff afterward. I just have like more of them. So I even just using this for water just for demonstration purposes. And so you like, you take the brush, you put it in that, it's basically water with a little bit of this. Then you put some of this on the brush itself and then you really just get to scrubbing. It's better to take the laces off first just because it makes it a lot easier to just like really just like, okay, that made it look a lot worse at first, but get it back in the water. Like what this does is it honestly lifts a lot of it up. 
So at this point, like I'm sh pretty sure water would knock it all off. In fact, they give you this little microfiber towel. If I wipe it down with that, it's actually getting right back to its original color. It just smells bad still, and that's just because I haven't had, I didn't give the pill any time to like sit there. So I finished the right shoe now. It looks like basically back to brand new. Like it's still a little bit wet and stuff like that. Like I'd have to dry it off a bit more, but for like time conservation, I'm gonna leave it like this for now. And then I'm gonna like finish it in the morning. It's all clean, it just has to dry and I have to put the pill in it because in person the smell is, it's not good right now. Well, if you wanna see like a visual representation of what the smell is. Yeah, right that's there. what the smell pretty much is. So this shoe's done, now I'm gonna do the next one. Oh, it's getting all over my hands, that's so gross. All right, so now it's pretty much back to literally like brand new. The only issues with it are like right here up at the lining. There's like a little bit of discoloration and most of that is just because it's very, very, very wet right now in person. Like I clean this all very quickly as you guys just saw. And so like you need, like the way it's supposed to is you're supposed to let it like have like a long dry time and then that's when you finish it. But obviously this is a one day video. It's not like a multiple day video. So I don't have 12 hours to let it dry. But what I will do is in a future vlog, if I'm not able to fix it, I'll show you guys. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'll make sure I get these finished up before the next video and I'll show you guys then. And with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's so late. Why do I always film this late? Stay winning and make it happen. The camera's way too far away for me to cover it, but Pete's Brian, cover it for me. Thank you. You're welcome.